British Defense Minister Michael Fallon joins us here on set tonight. Mr. Minister, thanks for being here. Pleasure. Let's start with North Korea. Your sense of where this conflict is and what possibly could be the re resolution? Well, I'll be reviewing that with Secretary Mattis at the Pentagon tomorrow. But it's clear what North Korea has done is illegal, it's provocative, and it's absolutely unacceptable. And it's not just the United States problem. This is a global problem. This North Korea is a threat to, to everybody, and we have to find a way through that. And I think that, first of all, means much more intensive diplomatic work. The international community has got to raise its game now, toughen the sanctions that already exist, introduce new sanctions, and continue to put pressure on Beijing, on China, to resolve this. If push came to shove and that diplomatic effort didn't work, would Great Britain join the U.S. in some sort of military action against well, North Korea? I think it's premature at the moment to start talking about uh, military options. I understand why the United States wants to review those, but that's premature at the moment. The first thing is to get the international community to respond much more, uh, much more closely now and to look at the... There have been six or seven resolutions of the United Nations before. They haven't had the impact that we need. So so we probably need a fresh resolution. Our people are working on that in New York. And we then need to enforce the existing sanctions. It isn't possible for North Korea to put together this program without accessing components, without accessing finance. So there have been some, clearly have been some breaches of these sanctions, and we need to look at that. Let's turn to the Middle East and Syria. Uh, here is Secretary of State Tillerson today on possibly working with Russia on Syria. United Kingdom tells Kim Jong-un, we are ready for nuclear war and will crush North Korea. Sir Michael Fallon said the United Kingdom is conducting a series of military drills with the United States as tensions escalate on the Korean Peninsula. He also revealed nuclear submarine crews at the Trident base in Scotland are ready for war if it breaks out. Today the nuclear dangers are intensifying from a reckless North Korea and increasingly assertive Russia. United Kingdom weapons remain the only credible way to deter the most extreme dangers, reminding any aggressor the benefits of an attack would be vastly outweighed by the consequences. United States President Donald Trump threatened to totally destroy the Hermit Kingdom if it maintained its threats in a fiery United Nations speech earlier this month. North Korea responded by vowing to test a hydrogen bomb in the Pacific Ocean. Foreign Minister Rhode Island Young Ho made the terrifying warning after Kim threatened the highest level action. Asked if Britain would join the United States in an all-out war, Fallon replied, We are working very closely with the United States on all the diplomatic pressure that is needed now to bring this illegal testing program to a halt. We have to exhaust every conceivable diplomatic channel before we start considering any kind of military action. 